Let's understand deferred and immediate execution in C sharp with link functions. So here you can see I have a list. This list contains integer numbers two, four, and six. So with link, this is the where method. And here what we are doing is passing in the numbers parameter to this lambda expression and checking if the number within here is greater than three. If it is we want those results to be available using this variable. So now what we are doing is we've got query to list. This will call this immediate execution of the link query we have defined here. So it will only contain these two numbers. So when we do a count, we should get our goal all three. This again causes immediate execution and stores the results here. But here you can see we're adding a number 10 and then we have a for each u using the original query variable here. So what will happen is because we've added the number here, here, and we are using the variable query which is defined up here the actual execution happens at this stage in the for each loop so at this point we have already added the number 10 so therefore the results will include the number 10 for this query because we are looking for numbers greater than 3 the difference here is true list actually stores and executes the query immediately so even though we are using the same variable name here this one gets executed early versus this one which gets executed when we get to the for each loop and have already added number 10. If I run this query, so I have just added a for each loop to print out the results from different variables, including a right line for the count here, and then a separator here, and then um, of course the query here, which is based on the query variable here. I notice here that I'm using the results here um, and doing the right line rather than the original query variable um, because we are using the true list second, which immediately executes it. So if we have a look at the results, you can see when it runs with both four and six and we have two here so that's the count so there are there are two items which meet the query criteria here um then it's greater than three so we've got two items over here meeting that criteria so we get over here and then when we add um 10 in here you can see the output that we get uh, is four six and ten so you can see this one was a deferred query while the ones up here were materialized immediately and stored in memory so that's the difference between deferred query and and immediate execution. If you use methods such as to list or count, that would cause immediate execution of the queries. Um, if you then use for each, of course, that causes the execution of the query, but only when you get to, for example, a for each loop. For each loop is used very commonly in link queries, so you need to be familiar with this syntax here.